There is something very, very special about that growl of a Marshall amp. It is so quintessentially Marshall. <laughs> Howdy Tone Addicts, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got something truly special to share with you. This amp, the Marshall DSL50. This powerhouse of an amp, which I picked up for just 300 bucks. Yep, you heard that correctly, 300 bucks. But hold your picks, there's more to this story. Because today I'm gonna to be sharing with you why I think this could be the ultimate sleeper amp. So let's take a closer look at this beast. The Marshall DSL50 is renowned for its classic Marshall tone and its versatility as well. It has two channels. One is for clean and crunch and the other is for your lead and ultra gain. So you have so much gain on tap with this amp. It's pretty unbelievable. It's so, so cool, but it retains that classic Marshall tone. And the best part, I snagged this for just 300 bucks and you can get a really good example for not much more money right now. So this makes it probably the ultimate sleeper amp. Now let's talk tone. Whether you're craving those classic crunchy rock rhythms or soaring leads, this delivers it in spades. This has been such an awesome amp to play. I've used it on a few things since I bought it in January and it's just been unbelievably cool to play. It has a really, really awesome tone for rhythm, but then when I want a high gain lead tone and just whack the, up the gain on the second channel, turn it to ultra lead if I want. Usually I don't need to, usually I just leave it on the lead channel. And I've got this fantastic lead tone which just cuts through the mix. And let's not forget the versatility of this amp. With its two channels, it can do everything from those classic bluesy tones all the way up to really high gain, hard rock tones, metal tones, whatever you want it to do, it'll deliver it. But don't just take my word for it. Let's fire it up and hear it in action. That's impressive, right? The DSL50 is kind of a Swiss army knife of amps. It can pretty much adapt to whichever style you wanna play. Plus it plays really nicely with pedals and effects as well. Whether it's something in front like my custom made OD1 pedal, which it absolutely adores by the way. I use this for lead boosts and it sounds just exquisite. So much saturation and gain and that mid boost and also lots and lots of sustain, which I totally adore these two are a match made in heaven or whether i'm using like a delay pedal in the loop of the amp something like my boss sde 3000 evh it sounds absolutely phenomenal it really works well with both and it makes it the perfect canvas for sonic exploration So why do I think this is the ultimate sleeper amp? Well, first of all, it's a Marshall. That's already cool, right? <laughs> Second, it has two channels and it has switching on both channels. So technically it has four channels. It has a clean, a crunch, then it has a lead and an ultra lead. So 
you're gonna have as much gain as you want or as little gain as you want. The clean channel is actually really good as well. Very, very usable. The crunch channel sounds classic, classic Marshall, and the lead channels sound like classic Marshall, but just with a big boost right in front of the amp. It's absolutely amazing to play. I love playing with all the knobs at basically, you know, maximum, because that's how you set up a Marshall, right? Well, maybe not the EQ, but the gain knob and the volume knob is always at maximum for me. It's at 11, <laughs> right? That's where it should live. The other thing about this amp is that it is an all tube head. Yep, all tubes. It has two power tubes in it. This is the 50 watt version. You can get a 100 watt version as well which has four power tubes in it and it has the preamp tubes in there as well. Currently it has electro harmonics preamp tubes in here. I'm going to be changing them out really soon because I think that's already going to start improving the tone of this amplifier. But hey, what a great sounding amp already. This amplifier even has reverb built into it. My reverb is not working because there is a problem with the reverb tank. It's quite a common problem with these DSL 50s and DSL 100s the reverb tank can be replaced for about 30 bucks. So it's no big deal. I'm not gonna be reusing the reverb on this anyway. So I basically just removed the reverb tank and I'm not gonna put another one in. <laughs> now, although I picked this up for 300 bucks, I have taken a little bit of a gamble on it because this is an early model. It's from about 2002. Now, there are some problems known to happen with the earlier models and the PCB boards, which can become conductive after some time. And some people have told me it's gonna to happen to your amp at some point. <laughs> now, luckily this is a really stable amp. Nothing seems to be going awry with this. Usually you notice it when there's a drift in the bias, but the bias on this is completely stable. I have checked it and it's rocking and rolling like, you know, I just picked it up from a store. But if you are buying one, please do your research into the amplifier it is worth getting a slightly later model from about 2009, 2010-ish, and they're not much more money than what I paid for this amplifier. In the UK, I paid 230 pounds, which equates to about 300 US dollars, but you can pick them up for about 375, 400 pounds in the UK, which would probably be about 550, 600 odd bucks. I still think it's an absolute bargain at that price. Now, before I wrap up, I've got an exciting announcement to make. While this is a tone monster straight out of the box, I can't help but feel that there is a lot more that this amp can give. And in fact, I know it can give a lot more. And that's why I'm gonna be diving into some modding adventures with the Marshall DSL 50 in an upcoming video. Trust me, you're not gonna to wanna to miss that because I think we can make this sound even better. I think I'm gonna do some aesthetic mods to this amp as well. In fact, I've already got one of the pieces which I'm gonna to use to make this look even better than it already does. And I think I'm gonna re tolex it as well and just make it look unbelievably cool. Now the amp I picked up isn't in perfect condition. It's not in showroom condition, but it does look like it's been gigged, which makes it look pretty damn cool actually. <laughs> so the Tolex on my one is ripped in many, many places and it's cuffed and stuff like that. But that's no big deal for me because that means that I get to personalize this amp, make it look the way I'd like it to look. So there you have it folks, my $300 Marshall DSL 50, an absolute diamond in the rough. I cannot believe I picked up this Marshall tube amp for like 300 bucks. It's unbelievable. I'm still scratching my head as to how I got so lucky with this amplifier. From its classic Marshall tone to its unbelievable price tag, this really exceeded all of my expectations. I played one many years ago and I loved it back then. And when I got it back to the studio after picking it up, I plugged it into my 412. There was that tone again. I remembered that moment when I played it many years ago. and. I'm still in love with this amp, even from all the way back then, probably like 20 years or something. This is such a cool, cool amp. But our journey doesn't end there because I'm gonna be modding this amp and I'd love to take you guys along for the adventure. So remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you know when new videos are gonna be coming out because you're gonna to wanna to see what I do with this amplifier, trust me. Alrighty guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna play the full track which I recorded with this amplifier for you right now and I will see you really soon with another video. Have a great day, see you later.